Hi guys and welcome in to Dreams and Seams vlog. I know several of you have reached out to me making sure that I made it to Oklahoma City and I did. Thank you so much for reaching out. Sorry I haven't given an update. I've just been trying to get everything kind of settled here. If you're confused about what I'm talking about, I'll give you a little rundown. So Matt had to stay in Arizona for rehab and kind of what happened there is his last big league game, they told him he wasn't going to go in, so he didn't really stay warm like he normally would. And they called him in the eighth inning to hit, check swing on a curveball the very first pitch, and his oblique intercostal muscle has kind of been bothering him ever since. We thought that he might get to come to Oklahoma City anyways and break camp, but then he kind of had a little setback, so they just kept him there. It's looking like the 14th might be the latest hopefully date that he'll be back with the team but obviously won't know we'll just see how he kind of progresses they're going to want him to play games and extended out there before they send him here but yesterday he told me that he felt really good swinging um and he was swinging at like 90 percent. so that's really good that's the best he's felt since it's happened so fingers crossed that he keeps progressing and will be back here by the end of next week. So why I am in Oklahoma City is one, our lease was up in Arizona. So, and then two, when Matt is ready, he wouldn't be able to ride and drive and travel with me anyways, cause they'll just fly him to either Oklahoma City or wherever the team is. They're just gonna fly him there to get him there as soon as possible. So I was gonna have to do the trip by myself either way, basically. Um, so that's why we decided that I was just gonna come to Oklahoma City and get everything settled here. And that's just what we thought was best. And so I, with the U-Haul trailer attached to our Durango, and I know too, like when we moved to Arizona, if you watched that vlog, um, I told you guys that we just bought furniture off of like Facebook Marketplace and things like that, and we were just gonna resell it, do it all over again wherever we got for the season. Um, we decided, basically because we really like our mattress, and Granger might have threw up on it, so it would've been really hard to resell anyways. But Matt really liked our mattress, and then we have, we really like this little thing right here, this little recliner. So we just decided it would be best to just bring that stuff. That way we wouldn't have to rent furniture and just the less stress of having to resell and sell again. I was really nervous about the U-Haul, to be honest. I, at first, tried to act like it wasn't a big deal and I was going to be fine. And then when I was saying bye to Matt... I kind of had a mini breakdown and was just really nervous about it. But now that I've done it, it went super, super smooth. I'm blown away with how smooth and easy it went. Um, I First, if you're traveling by yourself, I listened to the Up and Vanish podcast and I became obsessed with it. But it probably wasn't the best thing since I was traveling by myself. And now that we're in the apartment, I'm going to be by myself. Our roommates, other guys that are going to be with the OKC team, they're on the road. So probably not my best decision, but it was totally worth it. It was so good. So that's a podcast I recommend. Just maybe not if you're going to be by yourself for a little bit. Anyways, um, so yeah. So that's pretty much what's going on now. And also another reason I decided to come to or we decided that I was going to go ahead and come is I start working. Um, I worked at a Lululemon outlet in Arizona, and they just transferred me here, which is awesome. So I'm already starting to work, you know, basically right away, um, which is great. So, yeah, that's basically what's going on. So Matt will be, will come with the team whenever he's healthy, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how all of that goes. And I kind of want to do this video, too, because it's so funny, my dad called me. Um, when he found out that I was doing the drive by myself and and he was just saying to me, you know, everyone wants to be a professional baseball player and they never see this side of it. This was my first time having to travel alone with the U-Haul. Girls have to do that all the time, especially like in the middle of the season if a guy gets traded or something crazy moving up and down. The guys go right then. They have to be with the team that same day or the next day, and then it's up to the girl to just pack everything up and move it. 
So this happens frequently. It was just my first time having to deal with it. And now that I've done it, like I can do anything, <laughs> seriously. Um, and it actually went pretty smoothly. I had one of our roommates came and helped me um, unload this in our mattress. Um, but other than that, yeah, everything went went really well. But I'm just saying that for if there's another wag that's watching this and is kind of dealing with the same thing, you got it, you'll be fine. Um, and also too, like I'm just trying to share these things that you don't see, like you don't see people talking about, or you might not even realize that it happens, but it does. So again, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little update. If you didn't read um, the blog, you need to go read the blog because I list the teams that are in the league that the OKC Dodgers are in, and I think our friends and family are going to be happy because. They're playing. He's. They're gonna play in two places that are gonna be the closest you can get to either one, really. So, um, thank you guys for watching and keeping up to speed. And season two, let's do it.